to be or not to be? That is the question. Would it be better in the mind to suffer the darkness and depression of life? Or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep. And by sleep to say we end the heartache, and the thousand natural shocks that the flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. To die. Like with dreams, that is. For when we die, we are released from this turmoil of life. What will happen? What will we see? How will we feel? Those are the unanswerable questions that, that makes calamity so long life. For who would bear the whips and the scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, and the proud man's contumely? The pangs of despised love and the law's delay? The insolence and the office and the spurns that the patient merit unworthy takes? When he himself might his quaintest make lith bear in Bodkin? This is truly in the past. Life would be hard and possibly unbearable. With that, the dread of something after me. That place, where we all begin and almost end, frightens me with its uncertainty. It makes us rather bear those ills than fly to those we know not of. Those conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus they need a few of resolution and sickled over with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pith and moment.